Hello, everybody. Hello, and welcome to another season of WCT, which is now a WCL. Doing a league setup here. So, first match of the day we have is uh, DP versus How, which is a uh, Doom Platoon versus House of Wolves or Hogs of War. I'm sorry, not House of. I got Destiny on the brain because of the, the update that's going to be coming out soon. It looks like we're going to get started here just in one moment. Shouldn't be too long. Turn up the game audio a little bit and mute everybody. Don't want any game chat. Don't think either of these teams are going to be using game chat, but we'll see. All right, so um, from the viewer's perspective, the biggest rule change that you guys will notice will be that it is now um, only two of the same tank. So yeah, I won't really run into too many triple IS3 lineups and stuff anymore. And we'll see how it goes. Should go just fine. It's exciting to be back here, first match of the season again. And we're very, very excited for this. What? Somebody oh. likes me? That is so fast. Gems Looker, thank you for the follow. I'm going to actually turn that off. I don't want to have them pop up a lot in the middle of the matches. But thank you very much. Looks like we got our new spotting thing. So, um, for those of you that also aren't aware, when their names turn yellow, that means they are lit. So we'll know who gets spotted and who w won't be. So 110s aren't lit yet, all the heavies are spotted now from DP's side. And DP's going to be taking the push into the little horseshoe here. Um, they got to be careful that they don't get pinched. They should be okay for the most part. They still don't know that lightweight's there, it looks like. So he could actually loop around. Maybe do some flank shots. The knight's going to go and rejoin his team. They're probably going to rotate back and jump on this 110. Would probably be the best idea here at the moment. 5100 is eating a lot of damage over there on uh, How as well. So far, teams both pretty much even in the HP department. DP has a little bit more damage on more of its members. But overall, Tequila Chaos has to be a little bit careful. He is uh, two shot, I believe, now for everything over on DP's side. Pershing going to be using, utilizing that haul down capability a lot. So kind of have a heavy stalemate here, which is actually good for how I would think. Um, they're able to chunk down some of these light tanks, get some early damage in. Wayside, I believe, is now one shot for a 5100. They're probably reloading right now, so they're just taking their time. The lightweight, though, on how is going to be taken out in just a moment. Or did he bounce? He might have actually bounced his shell. Don't worry, Mojo the Monkey will take him out before going down himself. And we have the first kills on both teams. Lofted is now one shot, and he will go down over to, uh, who is that? The 5100. 
They do re answer with the knight, so we have both the sixes out of the ways on both teams, as well as a lightweight. This could still be anyone's game. If those 5100s aren't fully reloaded, then uh, that's going to be a lot of damage potential. Vlad's going to be first to push around this corner, try and zone them out so that way Wayside can help back him up. It looks like he's going to try zoning out crap. Oh. Wait a minute, are going to be able to take him up before he goes down? Nope, so Tequila will go down here. And is a Krabby reloading or not is the question. Wayside will take him out, it doesn't matter, is he will go down. Tiger 2 in the back line, sitting at about 3rd HP. And then quickly follows and he goes down. And it looks like this first game will go over the DP as uh, the back line and the lightweight and the Persian will be able to loop around here. Probably take out Grey Wolf in just a moment. Shouldn't take that long to get him out. And GG's to DP for your first round of the day. We're going to flip spawns and do it again. After this, we have Ensk. This is a best of series, so best of five. We'll see how it goes. I'm interested to see if uh, this new draw rule will be taken into place. For those of you that don't know, um, draws never counted in the past. Uh, well, we never had a draw breaker. Um, if there was a draw, then it would just be a draw. And uh, so even if it was something like two W's and then the other three matches were all draws and the best of the fives and the person with the two W's would win. Um, and here, since uh, there is a glitch on Battlefly at the moment, we now have to use Team Destruction style draws. So if the time and the clock runs out, um, then the team with the most kills will take the victory. If there are even kills on the board, then the team with the most damage will take the victory. I'd be interested to see if any uh, teams actually encounter that today. Be easy on the started there, Rook, man. Jeez. I don't know what that was. What the? What in the world? What is that noise? Looks like DP is going to do the hard push right off the bat here. And it looks like the Spectator bug is still around. So with those yellow names that we were talking about earlier. Um, 
It's also going a lot slower going upwards. There's a, there's a bug that the spectator um, sc spotting thing works pretty well, but it only works for the first match of the lobby. So all the other matches after that, it won't work. <laughs> also seems like the, the left trigger that makes you elevate up goes slower for some reason. I don't know why. Hmm. It looks like DP's gonna turn. Try and take advantage of this overmatch here real fast. I'm gonna have to try and whittle down uh, all these heavy alpha tanks before the 5100 shows up. Pershing's gonna try zoning out the lightweight, the knight, and the 5100 as long as possible. Both 110s are now down on the house side. Where's the other 5100? There it is. They're gonna try and turn on the uh, Banzai here. I think they want to be careful. They don't want to overextend too much and then get sniped from the back, but the Pershing should be letting them know that they're okay for the time being. It looks like Howe's going to try going for cap while they're doing all this. DP needs to make up their mind on what they're doing. Looks like they're going to go for retreat. Took out two big heavy hitters. Robson in the night. He's going to get taken out here pretty soon. Wayside should just be able to push him. I guess they don't know where the 5100s are. They know now. So they should just poke up and just take the knight out, and then they need to get back to base as soon as possible. I think this might actually go over the how. I don't know if they're going to have enough time to reset. That little bit of cover there. Oh god. Will they be able to get there in time? I think that was a reset. Yeah, they're getting resets on the 5100, but they need to kill on um, Croc here. They're shooting the wrong person. They need to reset somebody else. There's another reset. They got Tequila. Croc here has the rest of HP, and there's a reset on him too, so it looks like they're going to be okay. Vlad's going to use his hull down abilities to try... Uh, getting some kills here. The both 5100s are going down. It looks like DP managed to save this one. Tiger 2 managed to uh, come up the back line here, but he's going to be turned on and taken out pretty quickly. Will not be long now. Yeah, the, the left trigger does not know what the issue is. Oh my goodness. Wayside. With the almost suicide ram, but he's able to take him out. Oh, you're right, it is in full screen. Why is that? Yeah, sorry about that. I didn't realize that it wasn't uh, full screen. That is odd. That is odd. Must have something unless in settings must have, must have fucked it up. Alright guys, this is possible match point. We're moving on over the INSC. in the betting pool for the next uh, series. You can make the command real fast. Wow.
while we wait for the uh, for them to pick their tanks. Whoops. Why is it not working? <laughs> Makes you want to die. Oh man. Alright, so sorry for all the typing. I'm just trying to get the betting command back. Deepbot's being dumb. I'm thinking about getting another bot. Deepbot's just been pissing me off. Um, okay, so here we are on Ensk looking at team selection. We had IS3s, 100. Or, uh, 110s and uh, 5100 over on DP, so pretty much what we're used to seeing here in Hammer and a Tiger, which are the same thing. One's just prettier. Meanwhile, over on House side, we have pretty much the same lineup um, that we saw last time, except the IS3s are replaced by, or the uh, 5100 replaced by IS3s. Which I think they should have kept one. Still, kind of rolled something more like DP. It's good to have at least 15100, I think, on this map. But if they're going to try locking down a block, then all that extra side scraping potential might become really in handy, which isn't what they're going to be doing. They're going to be pushing down the 8 line in the train yard. And it looks like they're going to leave the night as the early warning system. And DP's playing cautiously in case somebody's waiting for them around that corner. Normally, though, people are already push up to the point where DP is if they're north spawn, so DP should know that they're most likely not over here. They're going to have the hammer relocate back down towards the wayside. Hammer should be spotting people soon. Maybe not with the fence. Looks like he did. Oh look, the light's back. Interesting. Here comes the fast cap, uh, fast cap action. How's gonna try zoning out some people? DP should be able to get here in time, no problem though. 
This is going to be a big turntail. Lofted and the hammer is going to get uh, killed here in just a moment. It's probably the IS-3 is going to take him out. The snapshot does take him out. However, he himself is now one shot. And this isn't looking too good for House so far, even though they got the first kill. Somebody needs to get the reset. It looks like Gray's the one with all the uh, capture points. They need to shoot him. Never mind. Oh, they do get the full reset. So they're good. Poppy and uh, Set both sitting one shot right now. Never mind. It was two shot for Poppy. And it looks like this will probably be GG. Once again, how having the, uh, well, they did have the numbers advantage, but definitely a lot more HP on the right targets for DP right now. Banzai eating some major damage. He will go down. The lightweight in the night took the long way around and looks like it paid the price as DP was able to successfully wipe out the rest of the team. Wayside's gonna go charging in here. Must have a full clip. Knows he can definitely take out the knight at least. Probably eat a round or two from him and that's fine by him. Is he gonna go for another ram? 200 ram onto the knight. Is he even reloaded? He's not shooting. It look like he was, I don't know what he's doing then. Now it's time to go and hunt for the lightweight. Wayside should be reloaded now, but he did lose enough HP. I think the lightweight might be able to kill him. If he low rolls, then probably not. Lightweight's going to eventually get cornered here. Don't think he's going to be able to sneak behind anybody. His eyes through will spot him. I guess they're assuming that he went north. But he is found out. And uh, missed shot by Spaniel. Wayside sees him. Bounce shot on the wayside. Wayside's going to give his life here trying to get some of this damage in. It looks like Panther's going to go in first. And Wayside will get the kill. Oh, GG's the DP. Best job I ever had. As that is game point. And GG's to them.